The first trick is reverse search history. If you want to search for a command from history, you can press Ctrl plus R. After hitting Enter, the command will be executed. If we want to repeat the last command, we can type two exclamation marks and hit Enter. This will replace the exclamation marks with the last command. Additionally, we can refer to the argument of the last command in a new command using an exclamation mark followed by a dollar symbol. If we want to toggle between the last two changed directories, we can use CD with hyphen. This will help us toggle between two recent locations. Let's say we have a long curl command. If we want to go to the beginning of the line, we can press Ctrl plus A, and to go to the end, we can press Ctrl plus E. These shortcuts come from the default key bindings for Bash, which are Emacs bindings. If we print the content of the Bash RC file, we can see that Emacs bindings are the default ones. You can change these bindings to Vim mode. Now let's exit and source the latest Bash RC configuration. This time, inside this long curl command, we can navigate to the beginning of the line using zero and to the end of the line using dollar. We can move forward and backward using the W command. Additionally, we can enable visual mode and select text while moving across the line. Visual selection works only inside Z shell. We have a habit of using the clear command to clear the screen. Instead, we can press Ctrl plus L to clear the screen. If we want to suspend long running commands such as the sleep command, we can press Ctrl plus Z. This will move the foreground command to the background. We can use the FG command to bring the most recently suspended command to the foreground. To see all suspended or background commands, we can use the jobs command. We can create aliases for long commands using the alias command and then execute them. If we want to redirect the output of a command to a file, we can use the greater than symbol. This action will replace the content of the file if it already exists. If we want to append the output of a command to a file, we can use the two times greater than symbol. To send the output of one command as input to another command, we can use the pipe symbol. For example, to send the output of the ls command as input to the grep command, we can use a pipe between these two commands. To store the output of one command inside a bash variable, we use the dollar symbol with parentheses. This allows us to refer to this variable in another command. We can use double ampersands to execute a command only if the previous command was successful. Conversely, we can use double pipes to execute a command only if the previous command failed. We can combine these to form a ternary-like operator. To replace part of the previous command and execute it, you can use the caret expression. The first part will be the text to find, and the second part will be the replacement text. If you accidentally execute a command with a spelling mistake, you can use the FC command to correct it. This command will open the previous command in your default text editor. You can then edit and save the file, and the corrected command will be executed automatically. In Z shell, it will detect the wrong command and prompt you with the corrected command. This is one of the benefits of using Z shell over bash. I have a dedicated video on Z shell, so be sure to check it out at the end of the screen. To chain multiple commands together, we can use a semicolon. These commands will run one after the other, regardless of whether the previous command succeeded or failed. Let's look at some wildcard matching in bash. Suppose we have three files with two characters in their names and one file with three characters. Using the asterisk wildcard will match all four files because it matches zero or more characters in the pattern. However, using the question mark wildcard will match only a single character for the given pattern. If you know more tricks, please mention them in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.